We got a call from a soldier who was on the front lines uh, near Kramatorsk. Um, it was right there. Um, it was still Ukrainian controlled, but they were fighting there. The dog was caught in the middle and um, there was tanks all around. There was shotguns, everything, and his leg was blown off by shrapnel. And um, the soldier reached out to us and asked if we could help. And you've been able to, you've been able to bring Barsik to the US, is that right? He was in danger. There was a soldier who actually took Barsik off the battlefield. Can you imagine? There was a tank strike. His leg was blown off by a Grod rocket missile. And a soldier took him off the battlefield. And was, the only place they could take him was a regular doctor, not even a veterinarian. And they saved him because there was no bones left in the leg. And... They they had to get him out of there because it was complete war zone, you know, just complete chaos. So they found a driver and they brought him to our shelter um, on the Polish-Ukrainian border, on the Ukrainian side. He's been with us about five months. And then um, we have all of our dogs on our website. We have about 80 dogs and 60 cats in two different shelters. And um, a woman from the U.S. reached out to us and wanted to adopt Barsik. So that's when we arranged the flight to the U.S. And he arrived on Saturday. Right. And, and we just want to play a little bit of audio uh, that I think you guys put up on social media um, from one of the moments, really, when Barsik arrived in the U.S. <laughs> So that, I think, is a, a group of Ukrainians, including some soldiers. Uh, they, they'd arrived yes. at the airport at the same time. What, what happened? It was, it was absolutely incredible. It was a complete coincidence. We had no idea. They had no idea that Barsik was arriving. We had no idea that those soldiers were arriving at the same time. And um, at this exact same time that our flight volunteer came out with Barsik, um, some soldiers with amputated limbs were coming out at the same time and being met by a nonprofit in the U.S. Um, they had Ukrainian flags and all blue and yellow, and they started to serenade them with the Ukrainian anthem. And it was absolutely incredible because Barsik was also there from the Ukrainian war, also an amputee. And then um, people started to ask about him. And when they found out that he was also um, an amputee from the Ukrainian war, they all started to gather around and um, wanting to say hello and find out about him. It was amazing. And how is Barsik settling into his new home? I imagine it, it, it's a change anyway, but also after his traumatic experiences, he may have a difficult few months ahead. Uh, yes, well, actually, Barsik is settling in very well. Um, we think that Barsik was probably a pet, which is really sad. We have no idea what happened to him. Mm -hmm. But um, he came into the house. It seemed that he already knew not to go uh, toilet inside. He was already potty trained. There was no issue with that. And he um, was really good in the car. So he just just fit right in.